Hi everybody, this is Metal Kaiju, and today we're discussing about some brand new Godzilla 2016 information. Today I'll be talking about, um, and I'm really glad I'm now saying this, uh, I'll be basically uh, reviewing the Godzilla 2016 slash Shin Gojira slash Godzilla Resurgence trailer. Yeah, finally, after a very long time, the trailer has been dropped. It's not a stupid, pathetic teaser trailer that was shown, I don't know, January or somewhere around there. That literally had no Godzilla whatsoever and just had stomping noises and humans running around. This actually has action and a bunch of Godzilla shots. So, let's get right into this. So, yeah, really, really awesome. And it seems my prediction was right. I was guessing April or possibly May, but I was leaning more towards April. And guess what? I was right. So, that's... Always awesome. So, anyhow, I'll give you guys a link to this trailer in the description below. So, yeah, anyhow. So, first of all, let's start with Toho Scope. And then we hear this noise or this music, which actually, you know, it sounds pretty fitting. It also sounds pretty nice. I'm going to lower it a little bit because I'm not really sure how loud it's going to sound whenever you guys hear it. But, anyhow, we see Japanese words. Then, first shot already, we see Godzilla roaring. So let's take a look at that. There we go. This is a perfect shot. Look at this. Oh my god. What's happening to Godzilla right now? Um, I can't really tell. I mean, he is rolling in the sky. You can obviously tell this is CGI because of the uh, awkward head movement. Um, so yeah, look at those teeth right there. Really awesome. Blue eyes. You know, really, really creepy Godzilla. Is Godzilla just rolling right here? Possibly. Or could he be actually, you know... Uh, crying for help or something, you know, what could be happening here? I'm not quite sure. I think that I think he's just probably roaring, but I'm pretty sure there's gonna be people out there that might, you know, overanalyze it and think, oh, uh, another kaiju's biting him in the neck or something, you know, something of that sort. But honestly, I think this is a roar, but yeah, really, really cool looking right here. That <laughs> looks really nice. And then we see Godzilla's humongous tail. Look at this, it is absolutely huge. We can obviously tell this is the biggest Godzilla to date. Look at that, wow. I'm surprised that tail didn't actually, like, blow, you know, stuff away. Like, you know, I don't know, I don't know. I think if that tail, you know, like, you know, swung through a city, I think that probably would have blown away some people, honestly, because of how huge that is. Then we see Godzilla right here. Look at this. You can obviously tell there's, like, flesh areas right here. Um, you know, the spikes. Looks really, really cool. I will say that the arms look a little small. And also, Godzilla looks very stiff. Like, it looks like he doesn't move whatsoever. He just stands there and just waits until, and just waits until the military comes just to attack him, and that's it. So, uh, yeah, I think he looks a little stiff, and his arms could be uh, improved. But, yeah, it looks really, really nice. All the red, uh, the red parts right here. Looks, you know, like a very uh, nightmarish Godzilla. Very cool. Like, he does move a little bit, but he moves really slowly, so. I mean, I know Godzilla is supposed to move slowly, but I think he could have moved, you know, a little bit faster, in my opinion. But that's just me. And then we see right here, look at Godzilla's menacing face. Uh, you can tell there's blood right here. It seems like maybe his head got squashed or something. I'm not really sure. Uh, but yeah, he looks very, very injured. Um, you know, all over his body. Look at this. Look at the tail right here. You can see literally inside the tail. So I think this is probably even more proof that, you know, the uh, Godzilla 1954 uh, Oxygen Destroyer theory might be true. Because look at this blood right here. Look at this. And then we see uh, Godzilla's foot stomping on some buildings. Looks really cool. You can obviously see the red detailing here. Uh, I'm pretty sure this Godzilla's trademark is going to be its face and also the uh, the red areas it has. So, yeah, very cool. Then we see some destruction scenes like uh, some windows being broken and, you know, stuff of that sort. Then we see a very awesome shot of Godzilla. Look, look at this back shot. All this just filled with red. It looks like, a, you know, lava is pouring through his back, but obviously this is blood. So, yeah, very, very cool looking. It, it definitely looks like he's regenerating. Definitely. So, yeah, very, very awesome. And then it seems, you know, for the, uh, all, nearly the rest of the trailer, we see basically shots of, you know, 
uh, the people just organizing, you know, reacting on the situation and, you know, trying to figure out what to exactly do. Like, you know, there's a bunch of meeting shots and stuff of that sort. And we do see some uh, previous characters from, like, other Godzilla movies. I'll show you one right now. I mean, there's probably other ones, but I just don't recognize them. But anyhow. Like, for example, this guy right here. I definitely remember him from other movies. Uh, so, let's see that guy. This guy, I remember him as well. There's probably other ones, as I mentioned, but I probably just forgot. But those are the most, you know, notable ones. Yeah, this movie definitely looks pretty serious. Uh, you know, especially with the song and, you know, with all the destruction occurring. And, you know, obviously, this movie, the human characters not, are not going to be like Ishiro, where he's just, like, wandering around in an island and, you know, you know, playing around with a kaiju or anything of that sort, or, you know, doing something really dumb or anything. This is a serious movie, so that's pretty cool. So, yeah, they're just, you know, people are just reacting to what to do. Then we see a shot of, you know, people running in the traffic area at nighttime. More running shots. Then we see a panoramic view of Japan, which looks actually, you know, pretty good. I'm pretty sure this is before the kaiju attack. Then we see some destruction. Look at all this destruction right here. I feel like this destruction might have probably just been caused by Godzilla's foot. Or maybe just by his tail. So, you know, very cool. Um, yeah, a lot of destruction here. More meeting shots. And finally, we get to see a little more action, I guess you can say. We have some jets flying towards uh, Godzilla. Also some, uh, you know, naval ships as well. Uh, yeah. Then we see, like, a whole stack of tanks ready to shoot at Godzilla. Uh, so, yeah. And then, basically, you know, the helicopters, the jets, the tanks, they all start shooting at Godzilla. You can see Godzilla a little bit in the background right here, as you can tell. You know, it looks pretty cool. It looks like, uh, they shot directly right at his face. This shot also looks really awesome. You can really tell how big this tail is. This tail is gigantic. I think this tail could have been a little shorter, because literally, look how long this tail is. Like, he can literally, like, strangle himself with this tail. I mean, look how big that is. I feel that could have been a little shorter, but, you know, oh well, I guess. And then we see, you know, a bunch of explosions. And then we see a panoramic view of, of Godzilla. He has a pissed off uh, look, and it seems that he's literally not taking any damage from it whatsoever. Normally, other uh, Godzillas, they normally react a little bit to it. Like, you know, they get shots. You know, they kind of, you know, back away a tiny bit, and that's when they look at their opponent and, you know, shoot the, br shoot the beam at him or something. Well, this Godzilla's just standing there. Like, it's nothing, so... He's literally like a body shield or something, so... Seems really pissed out, and we see this very awesome shot of Godzilla, you know, wrecking the city. You can tell, you know, the, uh, the red areas right here, so... Yeah, a lot of destruction, you know, a lot of destruction. Very cool. And then we finally see the final shot of, uh, Godzilla, you know, a panoramic view of where the camera is showing its foot, and then it's rising up, or its leg area, I meant. You can see all the blood, the arms, really cool, but kind of short in my opinion. And then it rises up, you can see all the flesh, tissue, all that stuff. And then it finally rises all the way up, and which looks, you know, absolutely, in my opinion, really, really cool looking. And then we see Godzilla, or I'm pretty sure this is, this is Shin Gojira, I think. Pretty sure that's what it says in the beginning, but yeah. And then the rest is just teasing, oh, it's going to be released, you know, 729, and that it's going to be released in IMAX and 4DX, and, you know, stuff of that sort. So, yeah, very, very intriguing trailer. I'm really glad we finally, finally got it after a long wait. Finally, uh, I'm really glad there's actually news about this. So, what are we going to get April 29th, since we're still going to get information there, or... You know, people at first thought there was going to be a trailer that day, but it seemed the trailer already got released today, so 
I really wonder what are we gonna get that day. Maybe another trailer, maybe some more information, you know, stuff of that sort. So I'm really uh, happy this occurred, and let's see what happens April 29th. But that basically off this video. Uh, please tell me in the comment below what are your thoughts on Godzilla's design since we finally get a actual shot of it in the movie. For me, it looks really, really cool. I think it does look a little stiff. I think he could be a little more agile. You know, he moves pretty slow, like incredibly slow. I think he could move a little bit faster. Um, also, his tail, I think, could be a tiny bit shorter or a lot shorter. And I think his arms could be a little wider and bigger. So, but other than that, really fantastic design. But that basically all for this video. Remember, subscribe, like, and comment. This is Melo Kaiju, signing out.